love with racks. Racks, racks. Who the fuck is that? Hey. Eventually, you hey. gon' see my fucking pick. Hey, you gon' see it. Before the strong, hey. I was moving hey. ratchet. My name is Colton Foster. I'm from Mount Pleasant, well, Columbia. Design, where I grew up my whole life. Shit, you can call me Colt the Plug if they gon' call me. But, yeah, yeah, my whole life, people know what I do. And when they see me, they be like, oh, that's Colt. So I just put the plug on it because, hell, I can get you anything you really need. <laughs> I can get anything you need. It. So, that's how I went with Colt the Plug. So now, it's, when they see me, oh, that's Colt the Plug. Like, it's like, when I got it in, people came, you got it for cheap, it's good. I can get you anything you need. That's how it went. Do I need a fix that? Hmm? Do, you, do I need a fix that? Nah, you good. Right. We're just gonna keep, keep it rolling. Uh -huh. This is where I grew up. Like, this is, this is, this is where it all started. Man, it's just... Everything happened in this house. It, like it, man. I got so many stories I can tell you, but I can tell you like some main ones. Like this is where I first got my little half ounce. This is where I first started moving it. And this is where I first got my pee. And then everybody was out this door. I made like over hundred k just walking in and out that door. And it's like everything took place here. I got. I smoked my first blunt here. I fucked my first bitch here. Shit. Like got my first fight here. Made my first 10 bands here. It just, it just, it just can go way back. And design is, it made me. Like this shit made me. This is me. You can ask anybody on this block, they gonna tell you, oh, that's cold. You know what I mean? That this motherfucker had this driveway packed. You know, it's me. Got my first pussy back in the back of them woods. You know, and hey, this sign, this home. You know. All right. Well, this is 113. You know, Napier Drive. Shit. I grew up here. And it was a rough, it was a rough household, don't get me wrong. But when my mom and my dad, they split up, and really my father, it really wasn't even my real father, but he stepped up and he was there for me, or he tried to be. But they split up, it was like, you know, I'm, I'm the man of the house now. I, I gotta, I gotta support him, you know? So, when they split up, shit just went south. And I never came home, you know what I mean? I was always gone. Sometimes I'd come home, but nine out of 10, I was running it up. And after I got that first product, it was, it was, it was it. Police started coming by a lot because they started seeing the heat we had going on over here. Then, next thing I know, we get drug raided, and then damn. And it's just everything was fucked up at first, but but now it's even more fucked up because now Mama looking at prison time. My sisters, they moved back to my dad, and I'm out here. I already was fending for myself, but damn, I'm, I'm even more fending for myself now because I'm, I'm 17. Mama in jail, and daddy know what the fuck I was doing, so he probably like, nah, I don't want him around us, you know? So it, it was just hell even harder. It was couches to couches, because when I got hit, man, I lost it all. Like, nothing. It was rock bottom. I ain't have shit. Then when I started climbing back up, it was like, that knockdown made me more smarter than than I was before, cause now I don't like fuck being flashy, you feel me? Like, long as my pocket's fat, long as I'm eating, long as my bills pay, I don't give a fuck about that flashy shit. Shit, we got hit in 2012. Uh, it was me and my mama, her boyfriend. I remember like, we had a knock on the door. I woke my mama up, cause I seen one cop out there. So I'm trying to clean all the shit out the house, like off the stove, off the, table just trying to put shit up so if they was to come in I didn't think we was gonna get ready at the time but my mama went to the door it was like are you Colton Foster's mom she was like yes they threw it on the ground pointed all the guns at me next thing you know I'm on the porch we all in handcuffs they found four pounds at $3,500 it was just a fucking crazy day everybody went to jail everybody went to jail how long did you Shit, at the time I was only 17, and that's what pissed them off because they thought I was 18, I thought I was an adult, but I was only 17, so I got a shitload of community service and like two years on paper, but I had a hell of a lawyer, so I mean, like I said, I was a minor, so I mean, they wouldn't shit they really could do. So, like, the longest I think I've been in a month 
But that whole time of month, I was still trapping in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, jail, like, yeah. motherfuckers don't want to be there. They really don't. Out uh, here, it's just you got all shit commotion. And then when you get took from out here and you put in there, it's like, you just know what the fuck's going on in there, you know? You don't know what the hell's going on out here. You know, I mean, you do, but you don't. And then when people, like, you just see, it, it really affects some people's families. It really do, because when people on the phone at night, they tell their sons or their daughters, well, I love you. And then they tell them, where you at, Dad? Well, Daddy working, won't be home for a couple other months. It just, it get to people. And people don't want to be in there. They really don't. And, like, my personal spirit, my last time in there, I almost see somebody take their life in front of me. And I ain't, nah, that did something to me. I'm trying to stay away from there. I'm 22 years old. And I still don't know who my father is. And it, it, it affects me sometimes growing up because you don't know. And that's why, like Dog said, you know what I mean? My mom is my granny in the streets is my father, you know? Because that's all thing I knew. And we didn't have shit, so I couldn't grow up not having shit. I went out and got it on my own. I left the porch like 15. And then it just went up. I didn't have no childhood. Couldn't have a childhood. Wish I could have had a childhood, but at the same time, I had to eat. I got bills to pay. I got three kids now. Just had another, another one, little girl. Like, I got to eat. I got uh, my oldest son. Is like My youngest son, he's uh, Landon. And my baby girl, her name's Coralie. Everybody know what Colton used to do. Everybody, that's how Colton got his name. Yeah, I made 50, 60, 80, more than that for myself. But if I made all this, I got three kids, hell, I want to make millions for them. You know what I mean? Let, let's go to the music. Let's see if I can invest this in the music and make millions. And if I make millions, then hell, I did something right. My babies, they got whatever they want. And I ain't have to go to jail. I'm just trying to stay out of jail. Right. Tell us about your mom a little bit. Shit, my mom, I love her to death, but it's, she, we got, we all got our own problems, we really do, we do, but it's like, she couldn't give me everything I wanted, and don't, I mean, she tried, she really did try, but she couldn't, and I don't, and she just had, she just have a habit, we all got a habit, you know, but, I don't know, it's just, she couldn't provide, so I had to go and get it. And at the same time, like I said, I ain't got no father. Well, I did have a father. Shout out to Shane Foster, because he stepped up and signed the birth certificate. But other than that, you know what I mean? I, it was still like I was still on my own, you know? And it's like when I made all this money, that's the only thing that made me feel happy, catching sales. Shit, I bought me a car. My first, like, my first 1500 I bought a Corsica. And I only paid 300 for it, so I took the other thousand and went and bought some more weed with it. <laughs> I bought a little Corsica. It was like $19.94. I paid like $300 for it. I made a shitload out of that car too. Shit, I've, I've always rapped, but I like I ain't never took it serious until now. It's like, I looked at it like, if I'm gonna go all the way go with it, I wanna go somewhere where I know if I press go, it's gonna go. I just don't wanna prep, just be out trying to press go and it don't go nowhere. So I went to the music, like, fuck it. I'm a, I don't feel I'm high, I forgot what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. But I never took it serious to now. And it's like, I hear so much bullshit. It's, that's what really pissed me off, just hearing bullshit. Knowing who rapping, knowing they ain't got it. Knowing they ain't really doing that. So I'm like, fuck it. If I say some real shit, people here, they gonna like it. You know what I mean? Cause it's real. They be like, I know it. He lived there, he did that. That's him, that's Colton, that's Colton Plug. Motherfuckers is gonna love it because they know it's real. Like when you listen to this shit, you gonna know it's real. You you can't say it's fake because it ain't, it's real. Yeah, yeah my granny, I love her dad. That's like my mama. Cause hell she came before I was trapping, I ain't have shit. I ain't have a damn thing. She tried to help me too. She did. I remember I used to go to school with the fucking clothes, have holes and shit in them. They had stains and shit on them. And then she would try her damn best. Every check she got every first of the month, she'd be like, 
well, we can go get you this, and we'll buy you a couple of shoes. Like, she she tried to do her best. She really did. Like, I remember one time she pulled up on me and, and dropped me them two pair of feelers. You know, you get the different color. She bought me two of them. But she did her best. And then, to this day, like, I just want to make it in the music to show her, like, I did it. You know what I mean? I did it. Because it's so many times she found so much shit in her house, and she's still here today. Like, I don't know. I just I want to do something big.